What's going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back again with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you're all doing well. This time I'm bringing you a really, really cool one, but you need a few things in order to, to get this shrine unlocked. It's a shrine quest, it's the stolen heirloom and it's in a Kakito village. Is it Kakito village? I'm just going through my um, Kakariko village and uh, you need a couple of things you need to first find out the uh, fairy shrine the fairy uh, fountain and then you need to uh, go and do this exact one which is flown from the coop if i'm not mistaken from the coop from the coop uh, so the first thing you need to do is go next to in kakariko village you go next to where the the um, where you pray where that statue of the the goddess is and you go there and there's a guy drawing there you will tell you about the fairy and then you can go there and do this one once you once you uh, complete the fairy one then you come here it needs to be in a, in the morning and go to that guy and you start doing this one flown from the coop in this one you're going to need to collect all the chickens there are scattered around one is right up here at the top let's start from the top and go all the way down although i don't know if i follow that pattern so the first i'm passing another one you need to come back here again to get that one but so you 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 go down to him and then you throw you throw the, the chicken into the pen now uh, once you do that you have to collect all the chickens around if i'm not mistaken there are five chickens so you just throw them, oh, <laughs> I kept on dropping it, but yeah, you just throw them into the pen, they'll fly into the pen. Um, and then there's going to be another one up there that I just saw, that I've just passed by, uh, and you need to collect that one as well. Uh, let me just remind you, you need to do the, first the fairy fountain, which is very close, I'll show you at the end where the fairy fountain is, it's very close to where the uh, shrine quest for the um, stolen heirloom is, so if you if you don't want to go into um, into the guy next to the um, statue, you can go directly there and you'll be able to unlock that one. And then you you have to do this one in order to do the following one, which which is going to be called Fireflies Light. They are both side quests. There's three side quests: the ferry, the um, the uh, flown the coop, and then uh, the third one which is going to be the fireflies so uh, as you can see i'm i'm going collecting all these chickens there's one that you can only collect after 5 pm because the lady is there guarding the patch of um, of uh, where the where the chicken is and she goes away at 5 pm which is to my left and uh, and then you'll be able to collect that one if you if you try to do it before then she will just chew you off so this is the painter that guy there Okay, another one next to the statue. So just remember to pick up this one as well. I think it's five in total, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the guy will give you some rupees as well, so it's not all lost. Uh, so once you do that one, then you've got another one, which is here. Uh, but if you jump, see, uh, at the moment it's 2.30. If you jump onto that patch down there, she's going to kick you off like she did me. But there's another one hidden. So just go to the lady, and then there's another one in here. So pick up this one as well and take it back. There's going to be another one up the hill as well, next to where the coop is. Uh, so just um, take them all back and uh, and you'll be able to to complete this side quest. So the guy will give you some money as well, which is which is always good. Okay, so when you do all that once, and there's another one on the top. If you uh, follow the road up, and then turn left on your first turning then just go up the hill and there's going to be one up there right at the top of the hill here it says five or six it's something like that um i think it's five but it might be six um yeah i think it's going to be six of them you can jump off the top here and the chicken will fly and you you sort of like glide down. So it's quite cool this. Um, so we've helped a desperate old man um, that wants uh, his chickens all back. So it's now 1740 and now you can go and get the one that is in that patch 
of trees down there because she's gone and this is uh, gonna be your last one just throw it out of the pen and then um, or out of the patch of uh, trees and then come down in and put it in this is the second one so the first one you're gonna need to do the fairy fountain and then the second one is gonna be this one flown the coop and then the third one we're gonna do the firefly fireflies light they are side quests and there is no way of unlocking the um, the stolen heirloom if if you don't do these side quests it just won't be an option because the, the heirloom is going to be there uh, so just is going to give you some cash 50 rupees better than nothing i've got 19000 i've been you know just accumulating it i don't know why uh, and now i've got loads and loads of money so flounder coop is done the fairy fountain i'll show you at the end the location but you can start the fairy fountain by going next to the statue where you pray and you'll be able to to uh, get it there another thing is to do the fireflies light you need to be it needs to be at night time so um, stand next to the fire go until it's, it's dark and then you need to have five fireflies there is no way of doing this without the fire fireflies. But you see this bridge that I'm on now? The, if you wait a little bit, there's going to be a few there. And if you go to a woodland area, it's going to be some there as well. So now the fireflies, fireflies light is unlocked. And this lady will tell you that she used to go out, but now there's baddies around and she can't go out anymore because of the baddies. So and she loves to see the fireflies, but now she can't do it. So she will give you something for... Uh, for bringing some fireflies to her so buy fireflies light so if you've got five of them so you can do you can um, get them out now and uh, I've got quite a few I collected a few for these these are fairies they're not the same uh, and there you go I've got 11 so hold five in your hand and then just release them and she will give you the money and unlock the the stolen heirloom shrine quest yeah she's very happy to see the fireflies you can still pick up these fireflies because you know there's a suit that you can get uh, to make you a, a bit more stealthy uh, with fireflies and I think you need 15 of those if I'm not mistaken so you can pick up these five don't let them go away because they are they are hard to find so once you um, once you um, complete the buy fire by fireflies light then go into where the old lady is down the bottom and I don't know if you picked up the, some quests from her before uh, about the the divine beasts but there was like a, a ball in there and that ball goes into a shrine base to unlock a specific shrine and that is like I said very close to the bridge where you um, where you go on to the fairy the fairy place the fairy fountain okay so if you come down here now and speak to one of the guards they're gonna say that the the heirloom is missing uh, and they don't know who stole it so uh, just speak to to him and go up and speak to lady to the lady up there and she's gonna she's gonna say that that the heirloom has been lost somebody stole it and nobody knows who it is you need to do all of this is quite long you know it's uh, if you haven't done any of these quests is it will take you an hour to do all of these easy because it needs to be done at certain times of the day so just be aware of that if you've done some of them then it's going to be much easier and if you've done all of them then you can just come directly here and and start this uh, shrine quest but this shrine is is hidden so uh, and you still have to defeat a baddie but there's going to be a few twists in in the middle and I'm, i want to make you aware of it after i finish this um after i finish this talking here this cuts in uh, the stolen heirloom now i've unlocked the quest and i can start it so um the first thing you're going to need to do is stand by the fire and if you don't want to waste any time I will tell you not to follow anyone, just the, the guard when he leaves off duty, then you need to follow him only. But if you want to, if you're curious about what's going on and all the people that are talking, like whispering around you, 
then uh, you should uh, you should follow them as well because they are part of the story itself really and it it's a nice background to what's going on uh, things that you probably didn't know I hope you like these videos man this is a, amazing to me you know like I have never been so obsessed by a games uh, since I started playing this you know I like games and I complete them and you know I created this channel for that to do some live streams and some um, gameplay walkthroughs and things like that but this game is, is is something special so if you if you're in the market to buy a switch this is definitely the game to buy I am playing this on a Wii U um, uh, and you know obviously the quality is not as good but it's still decent um, I'm having a great time so um, so it's something to consider if you've got a Wii U but if you're into a new platform into buying a new platform like the switch then uh, definitely I would I would buy this game as well so stand by the fire here just light up the fire hopefully it's not going to be raining when you're doing this uh, if it is then you, you know uh, you're gonna have to go near somewhere else where there's a fire so just stay in there and you know after a while um, there's a lady at the end that's going to be whispering things nobody knows you know like it's trying to entice you to follow her you don't have to follow her the 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 person that you have to follow is going to be the guards but i did follow her just you know just to show you that there's nothing you know in here it's just she tells you a little bit more about herself and about um, that she lost her loved one uh, and you accusing her about stealing it but you, she hasn't stolen anything she's not the one to to be following so uh, a guard is going to be missing when you get there and as you can see he's turned left up the hill he's going up the hill now as you can see him right up there so just you know slowly follow him um, don't let him be aware that you're following him so just keep keep going after him after a while when he turns left there he's gonna start running so run after him and uh, he will lead you to where the shrine base is and that is where the um, where the guards are you know the where the one of the baddies is so just keep following him you pass the Talonaic sh shrine I sped up this part of the video so you could um, so you wouldn't be bored with all the walking and running and uh, until you get to the shrine base uh, so you get to the bridge here just crouch and just like just go softly so we can't hear you and this is where the cutscene starts the fairy fountain is just to the left but I will show you that like I promised at the end of the video so you guys can see exactly how to get there from here it's very easy um, but it's better if you start the the side quest from next to the statue okay so now the fighting is gonna happen you know I've I've got my technique that I use to defeat the baddies and it always works out which is the one with um, using my stamina uh, to defeat them really quickly and that works with this guy as well so if uh, if you want to finish this really quickly then this is going to be the best way to do it so he's telling you that he's part of the the Yiga clan and he gave up the Yiga clan to to join the, the this village here and it's really you know he he they've been threatening him so now they find out that you're there and now it's time for you to to defeat the baddie and claim the ball so you can unlock the shrine be careful with the when when he swings the sword at you because he can take quite a, a chunk of energy so it's worth um, uh, just keeping away from him but it's very easy as you can see I defeated it in one hit that's it and now the ball is gonna roll out and you're gonna be able to unlock the shrine so once you unlock the shrine the shrine is one of those that you can just go and pick up whatever it's in a chest and then um, uh, collect your orb and and that's it really there's not much to it I can imagine you can't put any more into it it took me such a long time to complete the the shrine quest and all the side quests that I needed to complete in order to to unlock the shrine quest that um, yeah if the shrine had anything in it as well it would be very very long indeed 
so um, I'm very I'm getting very close to the end of this video I'm gonna say my goodbyes now and uh, so I can explain you at the end the last piece is gonna be about the the fairy fountain so I can explain to you what the location of the fairy fountain so I hope you like this videos guys please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this I, like again like I said in many videos in the past I have a lot of shrines that I've unlocked still to upload uh, I'm doing them as fast as I can you know uh, this is a really really cool game I like to play as well and I like to enjoy the game as well but I'm trying to help you guys um, if you have difficulties in completing some of these shrine quests and especially one like this it's if, if you haven't got any uh, uh, if you haven't done any research it's going to be very difficult for you to find out exactly what you need to do in order to unlock this shrine quest but I'm here guys don't worry I'm gonna still be releasing more videos I'm gonna still be releasing um, some live gameplays there's still Ganon to come uh, I'm planning on doing that on a live stream and uh, you know just stay in there, stick with me, and I will release some more videos regarding the shrines and the shrine quests. So the stolen heirloom is completed now, and uh, we're just going to quickly do the shrine, and then I will tell you exactly how to get to the fairy fountain. I've unlocked it already. I've unlocked it quite a while back when I first discovered uh, Kakariko Village. Uh, I was looking for things to do in there and um, I found that by accident and I've unlocked it and upgraded all my um, armor, like my suits, uh, because that's what you do. Whenever you you uh, unlock a fairy fountain, uh, the fairy can upgrade all your um, clothing so you, you, know, you will have a little bit more resistant to damage. You'll be a little bit more resistant to damage. So on this one is the Lachna Rokis Shrine. Lachner Rocky Shrine and like I said you just pick up whatever is in the chest and uh, go and get your orb so once you come out you come out over the bridge again as if you're going to Kakariko village and then once you go down the hill here just turn right and you can you can see there's some rocks on the edge and this is where the fairy fountain is okay thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one Goodbye.